and hello and welcome back to Indica Ilvestaro. This will be a reading for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for the July, around July 2020. Um, it's a powerful time, it's eclipse season we are having. We also entered our cancer season and uh, Venus started go direct and um, I tried to make these readings a general readings but it turns out like every reading has been more or less about love maybe because of Venus maybe because of I don't know but we'll see what happens with you guys and as always um, universe doesn't obey man man time this will be, uh, could be um, around July uh, it could be August, September, or last month. Take it as it resonates. Every message cannot be for you. You will know what is and what isn't. And also, if my language bothers you, click the hell off. Sorry. So, let's see what's coming towards my earthlings Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the month of July 2020 Also, sorry if you hear uh, traffic or noises I'm keeping my balcony door open since it's hot like hell in here Okay, what messages do we have? I'm not taking you a one card uh, from a fairy tarot deck. Advices from the spirits. The Emperor. Um, we got the same card as the overall energy uh, in a Finnish Earth reading as well. So if you have a in a Finnish, definitely go check that reading out as well. <laughs> Bottom of the deck we have Prince of Summer. You could, de uh, you could be dealing with um, Aries or Water Sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces doesn't have to. Uh, also, check the um, English air reading, air sign reading, yes. They got um, Prince, of, Prince of Spring as well, which is um, Knight of Cups in a regular tarot. But yeah, um, this is the Emperor God. He builds empires. He rules empires. He is wise. He rules with his head and his heart. With a gentle but um, firm hand. He knows what he wants and he is going to get it. It is also a card of a div divine masculine. And there might be a love offer coming to your way, or you could be um, offer love to somebody. But um, uniting with a um, divine masculine might be in hand. Something's definitely going to slip up uh, you off your uh, off your feet. I can almost guarantee you that. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm using um, eight coins tattoo tarot deck, and in this deck there is two of ten of cups, two of three of cups, and two of nine of wands, and two of the stars. And I am not going to take the them away. 
also you guys know I usually read the reversal reversals but with this deck I won't so let's see what do we have for my earthlings Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, in the month of July 2020. The Emperor is number four. Four is about structures, homes, stability. foundations, strong firm foundations and that's what the emperor is all about. Stable firm foundations. Probably including love since we have the Prince of Summer here as well. Earth signs, sun rising and Venus. Bottom of the deck we have the hanged man. New perspectives. Aha moments, awakenings. You have two of wands, seven of wands, and the eight of swords. So the bottom of the deck is the hand man. We have this uh, in an uh, air sign in this reading as well. Seeing something in the new light, seeing something, realizing something you didn't realize or saw before, seeing things from a new perspective. Movement after being stuck. Two of ones, decisions. You might be um, at the end of uh, fork of a road. Which way to go? To go that way or that way? But she looks confident. Look at her face. She's not afraid and she's holding the globe on her hand. Like, there's the whole wide world. Open, ready, ready, ready for her. And she knows it. Look at her face. She knows it, but there is still a decision to make. We had seven of wands in Finnish earth sign reading, I think, as well. I think we had. So if you do have a Finnish, definitely go see that as well. Um, you are standing firmly, as the emperors do. Standing firmly. Um, for what you believe is right, what you think is right. And as you see, it's a heart where the fist is coming and um, uh, six other ones are trying to threaten it. But the hold, the grip of the wand, seventh wand, is very, very tight. And the heart is pulsating. It's alive and You know what you do is right, and you do believe in in it with your whole heart, and that's why you keep fighting for it. You keep standing your ground because emperors will not give up uh, with any any area of their life, not with love, not with anything, because. Emperors are like that, you know. <sighs> but then we have Eight of Swords, illusion of being stuck. As we had the Hangman, Hangman is also um, <clears throat> st uh, 
stuck energy, um, not moving. Unlike Ember, Ember goes through the dark, hard rock to get what he wants. But you might have been feeling as you were stuck, or you don't know which way to go, what to choose. What is the right thing for me to do? Uh, you haven't been able to see clearly. But you are really not stuck, you are not, and you do know it now. And if not now, you will know it very, very soon. And you will know which way to go, what, what direction to take. You will get that aha moment. You get that hello, like it's... um. Awakening, um, knowing, seeing. You see, she's not suffering, she's... My hand is shaking, I'm sorry. She's smiling, she is happy, she, she is joyful because what she didn't saw, she saws now. And what you are going through or what you have been going through, it all have been... Because without this battle, because without this struggle, you wouldn't be able to see or know what do you <clears throat> know now or what will happen now. Now you have all the knowledge and power of the Emperor to achieve what is meant for you to happen. Let's clarify. We will want to wait here. Nights be okay, guys. Uh, under the two of wands, we got Ace of Pentacles. A great offering coming into your way, a golden opportunity. We had this almost the exact same message with the um, Finnish Earth reading. Uh, so this is big. I really, really think this is big. A golden opportunity you don't want to let. Uh, go past you. Somebody's offering you see the clouds and um, a mysterious looking um, woman offering it to you. And will you grab it? Will you take it? I think you do. I think you are very confident. I know what you're going to do with that offer. It's something true, it's something tangible, it's something uh, solid. New beginnings, new, new ways, new. This is a blessing. Under the seven of swords, I'm um, sorry, seven of wands, we have three of swords. Heartbreak. We have this heart, which is pierced by these three swords, and the grief morning woman lady it doesn't matter which gender you are and then we have this heart you have been through a lot probably uh, somebody broke your heart something broke your heart or there might have been a third party situation possibly because there is this choice, somebody to make. This message is for somebody, it's not for all. But even though the heart is broken, even though it has broken and it's hurt, you are still defending it and you have not lost your hope. For some of you, uh, there is um, old love lover or relationship coming back and for some of you something that broke your heart something that uh, caused you a lot of sorrow or grief or pain you are still believing you can have it you are still fighting for it and there is 
all the Joneses um, it might be really true since um, 8 of <laughs> Under the Eight of Swords, we have Knight of Cups, and we have it twice here now. You guys, um, genuine love offer. Yeah, it's a um, knight in a shining armor. You could be dealing it really with um, um water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or you could have um strong water in your chart. But definitely, uh, what you think you were stuck, what you think was lost, um, you should think again. And I think you do already, or you will be very soon, because you are not giving up the fight. Because you are an emperor, you see things clearly, you see things um, with a new um, perspective, a new knowledge. With the calmness and um, trusting that that everything has has been happened with you, uh, with this person, all this grief, battle you've been fighting for, you know it hasn't gone in vain, and uh, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't achieve this golden opportunity. This new awesome bright beginning if you wouldn't go through all this because what doesn't kill you it makes you stronger <laughs> but it's true and the illusion you're stuck your um, prisoner, uh, prisoner you, uh, you don't, you, there's nothing you can do you, you could feel like you've been tied up uh, it ain't true. And this knight is coming here twice, suddenly falling in love or deepening a relationship uh, engagement for some of you guys with um, Ace of Pentacles as well, uh, engagement, pairing up with the Two of Wands as well. And the Divine Masculine. I like this reading. Okay, if you liked it as well, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and uh, you can follow me on Facebook as well. Um, Indica Ilvestaro, or find more information for my website www.indicailvestaro.com. And uh, if you wish to book a personal reading with me, instructions are down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well, so you don't miss any new readings. So that's all for this time. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and remember I love you guys.